Hey guys, welcome back to another video this morning. I have done plenty of chevron stitch style um, stitches. <laughs> That's a tongue twister um, for you. Today I'm going to do the uh, sharp chevron stitch. Um, there are some sharper ones. There are some flat ones. And this is probably going to be the sharpest one or close to it that I have uh, done. So let's get started. So what you'll need to do is chain 30. Okay, so that's going to be multiples of 14, and then you're going to add 2 at the end. So you're going to have 2 multiples of 14, and then add 2 chains. That's going to give you a total of 30. Okay, so what you're going to be doing is you're going to be working in 3's pretty much all through this pattern. So what you're going to do is after you have chained your 30, you're going to count to the 3rd stitch, and you're going to do 2 double crochets in that same stitch. Okay? So basically where you just skip the two, that's going to act as one stitch. Okay? So basically you have one, two, and three. Alright? In the next three stitches, you're going to put one double crochet in each. So you're going to do one, one in the next, and one in the next. Okay. So now you're going to be doing th uh, double crochet three together, and I've done this in many videos. So you're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up, yarn over, pull through two only. Then you're going to leave this last one plus the one that ended up on your hook, so that's going to leave you with two. You're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, do the same thing, pull your yarn through, You'll have four. Yarn over, pull through the first two only. Okay, so that's going to leave you three, and you're going to do that one more time. So that's your third stitch. Okay, and then you'll wrap, pull through two only, which is going to leave you four hoops on your hook. Then to finalize that three double crochet together, you will yarn over, and you will pull through all three. Now, you're going to do that another time. So you do two of these back to back throughout this pattern. So remember always leave that last hoop on. So that was one stitch. Go through the next. Pull through the first two. So you'll have three on your hook. And then go in the third stitch. Pull through the last two on your hook. And then you'll have four. You'll yarn over, pull through all three. And what this is eventually going to do is going to be your bottom dip. You see where it comes to a point? That's what's going to give you your sharp edge, okay? So after you do that, you're going to do um, three double crochet, one in each of the next three stitches. Okay, so you're working back up now. Okay, so you see here now you're going back up this side. And now what you're going to do, sorry about that guys, it's kittens playing around my camera here. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to do three double crochet in the next stitch. So you're building up the top peak again. So there's one, two, and all these go in the same stitch, and three, okay? So that's kind of half your peak. Now go into the next stitch available and do three more double crochet. And that's going to take your peak to the maximum and it's going to start pushing over to the other side. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having to watch the kittens here. Okay, so there's what we have so far. So you have your down slope, you have your up slope. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to repeat that. You're going to go back and you're going to uh, do your, squish that over a bit. You're going to do three double crochet, so you're going to start going down. One in each of the next three. So that's two. And that's three. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to start pulling them together again. So in the next three stitches you're going to do them together like I showed you 
Okay. And then in the third one. So you'll have four on your hook. You'll yarn over, pull through all three, or all four, I'm sorry, and then you'll go into the next stitch and you'll do another set of these. And these are three double crochet together. Okay, so that's going to form your next dip. Okay, so then you're going to do three double crochet in the next three stitches, so one in each. So there's one, two, and three. Okay, so then what you're going to do here is you're going to go into your last stitch here and do three double crochet. <clears throat> Normally you would do two sets, but we're only going to do one set to end this row. Okay, so at this point, this is what you're going to have. See how sharp that is? It's almost like serious waves that I've seen at the beach this last week. So um, now what you're going to do is move up to row two. Row two you're going to start out with a chain three and you're going to turn. Now that's going to count as your first double crochet. Now you're going to go right back into that same stitch for two double crochet and that's going to give you your first set of three. Okay. Now what you're going to do is one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So like I said you're working in threes uh, all the way through this okay so now we're going to work the next three together just like we've been doing so you put your stitch it your hook in the first one pull through and you'll have that last hoop there yarn over go into the next one go through the first two only and then the third one you'll yarn over go into the next one pull through first two only and you should have four at this point yarn over and pull through all of those. Now you're going to do that a second time. Okay, that's my last stitch. So I have four again. Yarn over, pour, pull through all four of those. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to do a double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So we're going back up now. And this is three. And then in the next stitch, you're going to put three double crochets together in here. Not together together, but you're going to put three of them in the same stitch. Make sure I have my terminology right so I don't confuse anybody. Alright, so we're working up the peak again. In the next stitch, you're also going to have three in the same stitch. Okay. Now you're going to work back down, so you're going to put one in each of the next three. So one, two, and three. Okay, now we're going to start pulling them together again. So you're going to yarn over, go in the first one, pull through two loops, yarn over, go in the second stitch, yarn over, pull through two loops, and the third stitch. Same process. Until you have four hoops, then you're going to yarn over, pull through all of those, and you're going to repeat that. So you're going to put three double crochets together again. <clears throat> okay, you yarn over, pull through all four. Now what you're going to do is put one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Oops. Okay. And I know it doesn't look like it, but there is a stitch still here. So what you're going to do is you're going to end this with three double crochet in this last stitch. Okay. 
Okay. So this is what you have for the sharp chevron stitch. And it's just basically going to repeat itself now. You're going to go back and you're going to keep repeating this last row. Okay. You're just going to keep doing this same row all the way until you're finished across or however big you want your project. Now this is a beautiful pattern if you do color change every row, every two rows, or if you do an ombre type uh, yarn or theme. It's very beautiful. Um, so just watch your stitches. You're working in threes uh, and you do want flat edges. And this one doesn't look too flat but once you pull this up here and then start working it over it does become a lot flatter but you also have to do your trim work and that um, solves some of that edginess on uh, the ends here. So um, all you're going to do is chain up three and then you're just going to follow the pattern of the second row and if you need further help with that you can go back rewind this video um, and just go back over where I stated it was row two. And you just keep doing the same process all the way across or up however you choose to do it it's a beautiful um, wave look to it like I say it's very detailed so I hope you enjoyed the video till next time happy hooking